Now, with a better idea of what you want from life, the next step is to make a simple list of things you'd like to change quickly. Don't worry if that change is realistic or not. For now, just write it down anyway. Write the things you want to spend more time on, you know, things like relaxing, being with family, exercise, being outdoors, working on your novel, and so on. And write down the things that you want to spend less time on, you know, washing up, commuting, tidying, staying late at work, etc. Write down as well the experiences you would like to have and the objects that you really need and get enjoyment from. Now you've done that, the first place to start is by recognizing the time you have available to you without changing your job. Changing jobs is the part that most people probably find hardest, so it makes sense for us to leave that for now. Instead, focus on small tweaks that you can already make that will give you that much more space, that much more time, and that much more energy. Energy management, by the way, is one of the very most important factors when it comes to being able to get the lifestyle you want. This is something that all too often gets overlooked in favour of time management. Let's say, for example, that your perfect future includes a vision of you who is thinner, stronger and more energetic. Then you can do more of the things that you want to do, which might mean extreme sports or starting your own fitness YouTube channel. You know, who knows? To do this, though, you need to start exercising. So you'll buy a book on losing weight and building muscle. And that book will tell you to train five times a week for an hour a week. If it's a somewhat smart book, then it will acknowledge the difficulty in fitting this in and it will thus suggest that you make more time by getting up a little earlier in the morning or by doing it before you come home from work. But time isn't the problem. It never has been the problem. You've had plenty of time. If you didn't, then you wouldn't have been able to watch the entire box set of Breaking Bad for the fifth time. The problem is that when you come home from work, you probably feel exhausted and stressed and just want to sleep on the couch. You can't face working out. And likewise, in the mornings, you probably feel groggy and rough and really struggle to drag yourself to the gym or just to do press-ups on the floor. So the problem is energy. Even if you have enough time, you won't be able to train or do the other things you want to do unless you have energy. And if you're struggling to find the energy just to have active evenings, you need to ask yourself how you're going to find the energy to add five hours of training to your week. Likewise, you need to ask yourself how you're going to find the will to travel to the gym, to get changed and ready, and to do all of the other things involved with going to the gym. In short, just because you can fit something in, in terms of time, that doesn't mean that you can or that you should attempt to. Chances are that if you want to fit something extra into your routine, you're going to need to find a way to increase your energy levels. And ironically, exercise is one of the things that can't do this for you. Or you're going to need to try and remove other energy-consuming things from your routine. Just know that energy is a finite quality and it's one of the biggest limiting factors in terms of what you can accomplish during a given day, week or month. And the same goes too for anything else productive that you might want to do, you know, whether it's taking the kids to the park or learning woodwork, which is another great way to improve your home without spending a fortune. Now, fortunately, there are tons of little ways that you can collect back time and energy throughout the day, and there are tons of things that you can do to make your routine easier. Again, this is a matter of identifying those pain points, those things that are more stressful and time-consuming than they should be, and then figuring out ways to overcome that. And I'll cover them in detail in the next video.